good Midwest morning, everyone. This is Nicole, your mobile blog is for TOCtown.com. And today, I just wanted to give you a basic flip through of my Hobonichi weeks. And yes, it is dated for 2020. But of course, since I barely used it, I'm going to be changing it and shifting it, not necessarily upcycling it for 2022 let me get out my shadow but pretty much as you can see even the calendex was unused i decided to go ahead and put some stickers from kinley doodle just to you know redo the calendar i plan on making it suitable for producers who want to go ahead and start their own podcast and all of my artisan admin tips, tools, and techniques that I use throughout the years are going to go on the calendar as well as on anchor fm forward slash mobile bloggers. So as you can see here, I did decide to dedicate September to sewing because I'm going to be doing a lot of quote unquote home ec things that I never was able to do you know while in high school but I definitely want to put away time as well as the effort to go ahead and finish up a lot of projects that I said I was going to do I was going to get to but as you know scrolling social media a lot of times you never do what you intend on doing so pretty much for the next decade I'm going to be setting up a lot of content creators with their own you know special technique as well as pen to paper planner tools so as you can see already through the first spring months from the winter workshop i haven't even used these and i can easily update them for the current calendar because you may not know this about the hobonichi but it does have the weeks indicated at the top right hand corner on the left side so pretty much even if you don't know Japanese and you may not use the current calendar of the year you can still use the pen to paper space and outline a lot of your notes as well as what you intend to place as topics and titles as you can see I barely used it mostly through the fall into the winter season but season but for the spring into the summer, it still has a lot of options available. So that is my first calendar that I'm going to be using for my On The Express channel. I will be going into my other traveler's notebooks from Speckled Fawn. This one is going to be used for sewing as well as my Risen Nation podcast notes. Of course, you know, my V6 Slim is just a catch-all, and I still have tons of pages at the end available when I just want to jot down a note. And last but not least, I do have this lime green loose term, which I barely even use as well. But I have a previous calendar from 21 through to 23. So I can go ahead and set up a lot of my plans as well as what I intend on accomplishing through to 2024 so that's the next leap year and i want to be transitioned into my new position as a blog writer as well as a studio creator and podcast producer i hope you decide to subscribe and join in on the journey with me i'm nicole your mobile blog is for tlctown.com until we meet online or face-to-face -face again, be blessed.